Yo, what's good with y'all, man? It's your boy be Wild, and I'm back again with another reaction. Traffic stop turns into a massive drug bust, man. If you get right into this, so make sure I run the likes up, sub, and do all that good stuff. Without further ado, let's hop right into it, man. In the fall of October 2023, the DEA began an investigation after being tipped off through a confidential source. The tip alleged that a woman named Latasha Weatherspoon was repeatedly flying from California to Indiana in an effort to transport large amounts of crystal meth through commercial airline flights. However, Latasha's luck ended when undercover DEA agents observed her and two other women picking up suitcases and getting into a rental car from the airport. Here's what happened next. That's kind of like, that give it away right there. Like, why are, why are y'all hopping into this rental with suitcases that I picked up? If there was already on your trail, it's like a giveaway at that point. They're like, all right, this enough for us to, you know, interfere with what they got going on. Hey, give us down, 7350. They haven't come to a complete stop yet. Oh, oh, oh. Like he old, bro. Oh, he having a hard time getting out the car. How you doing? Hi, Not too bad. You got your license registration with you? Yeah. How you doing? Hi, How you doing? Hi, Morning, ma'am. How you doing? Hi, Not too bad. You got your license registration with you? Yeah. Well, it's okay. All right, just uh, anything with a van or whatever. I don't know. Are you in a hurry this morning? Are you heading somewhere? Yeah, we're going to a funeral. Oh, to a funeral. Yeah. Who's funeral? Know where at. He has to spring. Okay. <laughs> uh, that might work. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. It's all right. Um, back at I believe it's Bridgeport. Uh, when you come on to Washington Street, mm -hmm. um, you roll through the stop sign and come to a complete stop. Um, you're, I'll try to get you. You're good. Um, give me just a second. Let me run everything. Hey, look at you. Floors by day, student by night. Like student by right day, now. baker by night. How are we doing today? Uh, Thanks out for a second. Where y'all headed to? Yeah. A funeral? Yeah, we just landed and we don't know where we're at. Uh, yeah, they're supposed to take us to a gas station. Where y'all coming from? What, I, I get that. What, what state? Um, California is my cousin from Chicago. Okay. All right. How long y'all staying? Y'all got a ton of luggage. A week. A week? Okay. Well, I'm staying a week. They're staying. Yeah. We got a funeral to be at. Okay. Hang tight. Sit still. Did this man like the dog? Let the dog off in the middle of traffic, bro? Nah, that's crazy. I get it. It's a trained dog, but some people ain't trained properly while driving a vehicle, you know what I mean, bro? Like, they don't be watching. They surround us like that dog could have been roadkill, bro. Good. Yep. Uh Man, is this window rolled down? I don't know. You got one back here, too. Go ahead and step out of the car for me. What am I step out of the car for, sir? Dog indicated. Go ahead and step out of the car for me. Okay, what? Step out of the car for me. Step out of the car. Just keep your hands where I can see them. You can leave everything in the car. Turn around, face that way. Put your hands on your back. I'll explain everything here in just a second. You're not under arrest at this time. Go ahead and step out of the vehicle for what's me. Please, please, go ahead and put your phones in there for me. I, for a I don't know what's going on. So, all right, I got a narcotic dog, and he alerted that there's presence okay, of not, can odor. I, can I? Just put your phones down. Yeah, you, I'm like, can I record whatever Yeah, is? you can record whatever you want. You can put it on record, okay, but yeah, I actually fine. just I don't leave know it there. What's going on. You ain't got yeah. no weapons on you, not no, like that? Okay, all right, just turn around for me real quick. Yeah. You're not under arrest. Okay. You're not under arrest. You're just being detained, okay? Oh, why am I being detained? Because our, my dog alerted on the vehicle that there's a presence of narcotics. Yeah, you did. Okay. All right, step on back here for me. No, I'm gonna put you next to. Yeah, you did. She wasn't driving. She didn't run it. The woman driving ran the stop sign. But I get what you mean, buddy. This car, cause it's warm. Okay, you just put your hands on the hood. Keep your hands warm. 
That's it. I'm not going inside. Step back here. Yep. Just put it right there. Let a little bit of heat come out of there because it is cold out. I'm going to have you step out, okay? You ain't got no guns, nothing like that? No, sir. Okay, go ahead and step out for me. I even know there's somebody in the back, bro. What the hell? That's <laughs> Use my second. You got your second. No, I don't. Why am I being detained? Uh, you're just being detained. You're not under arrest, okay? Why am I being detained? Uh, my dog alerted on the vehicle that there's a presence of narcotics. Uh, so we're going to search your vehicle. If there's nothing in there, then y'all are free to go. Illegal search. Illegal search. Yeah, in Indiana, if a police dog alerts on a vehicle, that's probably cause to search the vehicle. Is there anything in the vehicle that shouldn't be in there? Right, read them, Miranda, first. Are we going to find anything illegal in the in the bags? So even. When I'm trying to pick up on some knowledge real quick. So even if you're just being detained, they still have to read you your Miranda rights. I thought that was if you were getting arrested. Like I'm, I'm not sure. Like I said I'm just, I'm trying to gain some knowledge here myself. So let me know if y'all do know that. Not that you know of. No, I only have a carry-on. You only have a carry-on. Okay. Yes, so my dog, he is trained on six odors of narcotics, cocaine, crack, heroin, ecstasy, yeah, meth, and marijuana. Yeah, yeah, With this being a rental car, fairly okay, new, I'm assuming there's no odor in the vehicle other than what you all brought into it. Uh, I don't know. You don't know? Can I talk to you real quick? No. Um, where are you guys coming from? We're coming from L.A. Uh, one is from L.A. I think she's from Ohio. Uh, we just going to Kentucky for a long How do you know them? That's my cousin, and that's the person that died. That's his girlfriend. That's what? Girlfriend. The person that died. Okay. Are you in relation to the girl up there? That's the girlfriend. Oh, yeah. Are you, re to a are you related to that person up there? That's my cousin. No. Okay. When's, when's the funeral? Huh? When's the funeral? It's today. Oh, today? Okay. Hang, hang tight for me right here. How do you know the other two? We're family. We're like really close friends. Okay. Mm -hmm. who, who was it that passed away? Our cousin. We call him our cousin. Oh, okay. How do you know her up there? Cousin. cousin. Okay. When's, yeah, when's the funeral? In two days. In two days? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So you got time. So we're not delaying it. Damn, bro. Now look. If you're gonna be a criminal, y'all all gotta have the same story, bro. She's saying a funeral. Homegirl, he just questioned saying the funeral is today. She's saying in two days. She's saying that's my cousin. Oh, that's the girl friend of the the guy that died, whatever. Like, bro, none of y'all stories are lining up. Oh man, yeah, this is gonna end bad for y'all for sure, bro. Too long. I just don't want you guys to be late or anything. Weed, I smell it. I can smell it now. Here, grab, grab that corner and pull. No. Oh, something just dropped. Tampon. That's Mike. <laughs> Motherfuckers didn't vacuum center that shit properly. That's crazy. That's heavy though. That's I don't know if that's weird or not. You can't all be weird. Alright. That's uh, crystal. Yep. Yeah. Oh boy. That's a bunch of crystal. So we're good on this bag. I got everything there. Oh man, that's heavy. Got it. Damn, y'all was trafficking, trafficking. Like, God dang. These ones are still going. But now that's crazy. It'd always be like some little traffic violation that when people are traveling with pounds of shit, it always be a traffic violation. Oh, you ran a stop sign. Oh, you didn't signal. Oh, you were speeding. And that always give y'all motherfuckers away, bro. <laughs> That's crazy as shit. Like, if you're going to be riding dirty like that, you would think you're going to be tending to, like, you're going to be driving this motherfucker like, Driving Miss Daisy, bro. You gonna be now probably a little bit faster because you can still get pulled over for driving too slow. But you gonna be on point. You are not trying to make no type of fuck ups because this shit going. Traffic and drugs ain't no joke, bro. Y'all over here. Hey man. Need some rookies right here. None of these stories match. Yeah, bro. we we gonna get back to it. That one came out of that. Let me get a picture of that one came out of there. Take 
fish real quick for you. Right. That, my dear, is crystal meth. All right, so here's here's the deal, okay? Uh, I don't know if you see, the, but they're getting bundles of narcotics out of bags, okay? I talked to other people, and they claim the other bags aren't theirs, okay? Here's the thing. I understand sometimes people, they get into a money situation where, hey, they, need, they get down on luck or whatever, so they feel like they need to do something. That doesn't mean somebody's a bad person. I just wonder what your story is. My story is my father is in law enforcement. Um, I grew up very in a sheltered community. Nah, nobody want to hear all this shit, bro. Nobody want to hear all that shit. My story is she finna break down her whole background, bro. When I was one years old, I nah, bro. You don't want to hear all that shit, bro. Well, I don't. Maybe this cop do, bro. Happened today. Today, um, just with my. You know what to say? Get on to it today. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna stop you right there, okay? The funeral story is BS because I talked to everybody in the YouTube, okay? Nothing matches up. All right, so we can start over. What's going on today? Mm -hmm. Because you know and I know that's not true, okay? So how'd you end up here with a bunch of narcotics? I just came um, with my cousins. You came with your cousins? Mm -hmm. So where's the narcotics going? Because that's what I'm concerned about. I have no idea. Okay, so how'd you end up here? Are you getting paid to bring this? Um, you get a little bit, I'm sure. I literally don't know what else is going on. Are you getting paid or anything? Or? Um, no. Because they're claiming all these bags are yours. That's crazy, yo. They trying to pin this shit on homegirl, bro. But look, at the end of the day, like I said, since you already was doing this shit, y'all should have had y'all stories lined up to a T. They might have did, but then got cold feet because they getting pressed and this shit is in like is happening in real time. So it's like, damn. Funeral, uh, uh, they stuck. They just saying shit now at this point. They probably did have their story straight, but they just, all that shit went out the window whenever they got pressure but my thing is the fact that they about to pin all this on home, on her right here she looked like she the youngest one and it might be for that reason but damn you got yourself with some shit for real right now okay. all right i need to get a good picture yeah Yes, ma'am. Does, does that affect everybody? You said what now? They, the guy just told me that that is crystal meth in her luggage, right? There was crystal meth in every one of the suitcases. Yeah, but the guy, none of that is not. Like they told them I have all orange bags. Does that affect me? Be hey, honest girl. with you, I don't know. It's going to be up to the I'm courts. I'm a parent. Yeah, I don't, I don't do that. Wait, so I'm being arrested? I don't know if you're being arrested or yeah, not. I'm like, I don't have it. They just went through all my stuff. I don't were any of the big bags um the girl that's up in the front what's her name uh Aunt christine enriquez yeah, like two or three of the big bags christine enriquez marlene richardson yeah all of the bags i tagged to all of us so that she could get free stuff it's hers in there she can only take two bags free and she's snapping two okay gotcha. the only thing mine is orange luggage i told you guys that when you first put us over okay so this one is hers they're all hers her clothes look at the well this one's one. this one's tagged uh yeah, marlene she richardson check free. she needed to check extra stuff she's staying two bags a piece so we let her check but only thing that's mine is that and my fashion over outfits and orange stuff. okay I don't have anything with me. I don't do whatever that is they do. I don't mind. What name's that one? Latasha. Okay. What's that? Can I call my mom? Go. Everybody's saying this crap's not theirs. Okay, that's fine. So they they can because she's trying to say yeah that's that's her name but she was using it for free luggage or whatever. Problem is your name's on it. So and also for free luggage then the dope's in the luggage. Right. So we know which bags the dope came out of. Yep. Right? Yep. I, I got I got each ID with phones. Who's is who? Plus it's on camera. So each person had dope in their bags. They they all had their name on them had dope in them right. Yeah. Hundred percent sure. Name name name. And different name. names. Yep. Different names all of them right. Yep. So yep. all of them have a bag with their dope in it. Yeah. They all said that they're going to a funeral. However when I asked in the day of the funeral they all gave me different days she said tomorrow uh one of them said tomorrow i have to double look the camera one of them said two days and one of them said today and then the other mm -hmm. one's like well the wakes today um okay. one of them identified all themselves as cousins i just said their stories were inconsistent yeah uh, she the driver mm -hmm. told me that they were cousins of fr two now in front and said, now they're friends right yeah, I, 
Dang. I don't do this. I'm a public figure. I have two million social? followers on Instagram. She been talking to that man for 30 minutes. I know police. When a police officer like take the liking to one person and keep talking, it's because that's the one that's gonna talk. Oh. I was trying to get the bald head dude attention. Uh, that dude on the right? Yeah. Um, what I'm gonna say, I can't say on a fucking body cam. You want to talk to him again? Uh, your body cam is gonna get. I can't. I can't have this on record. Let me. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll bring him back. Hold on. Them people who start Shoot. with a C. <sighs> she about to snitch like a motherfucker, bro. Look, she is not trying to go to jail. But if you're an IG influencer, like you're saying, or a social media influencer with two million followers, why are you getting involved into like trafficking though? See, that this, this type of shit make you realize, like, a lot of people on social media ain't getting no money for real, bro. Y'all niggas on here just, you got you got fame, but you ain't capitalizing off your fame. With 2 million followers, bro, you could do some promos and make a, bro, you could charge niggas $20 a promo, bro. And I guarantee you people gonna hit you up. $20 ain't, bro, you get enough people to send you $20, bro. You gonna made you a couple racks in a month, bro. For real, so, like. Some people do this shit backwards. You got all these followers just getting likes. You're not getting paid for it. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. You in between the lines? The people who start with a C? Okay. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Thank you. No problem. She's Hi. snitching, bro. You want to talk real fast? Yep. And my safety happened. Right. Um, Now's your shot. So real fast? Yep. Well, I didn't want to talk to them because they have body cam and my safety happened. Right. Um, Now's your shot. So, if I told you that there were more people coming to them with way more shit, what happens? That's good. Anything you can tell me would be cooperative. If you knew where they were taking it, that would be no, good. No, I don't, but I know that... You still been recorded, home girl. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. Don't get, don't get involved in shit like this if when the pressure hits you, this is what you do. Because now, you putting their lives in danger as well. Yes, you're the one doing all this talking right now, but they was with you. Y'all off in it, man. It's a crazy game to get into, bro. Don't do shit like this. Bottom line. He's dealing with people who start with the C <laughs> from Mexico. Okay. And she there. being Tasha. Yeah. So she has ties to the cartel. Tasha, Tasha or does. Tasha does. Tasha does. If somebody come talk to me, yeah, I can talk give them that, and I know yeah, who else is Yeah, you done for. Me. I don't know who else was coming because you they were dropping done me off for. and wanting to meet these people. I was going to my Airbnb. I I can give you all of that. Will I be home by Christmas? Say Where is it coming that. tomorrow? SDF. Okay, Louisville. Is that, that's SDF, correct? Yep. Okay, do you know who's bringing it? Yep. Okay, let me get on the phone. Hold on. Good morning. I'm Sean. Hi, Sean. How are you? My name's David. It's Dave. Hi, Dave. I'll get Sean, Dave, long short. We've got 100 pounds of Christmas up in these bags. It's three of you guys. State police call to see you. So, how did the bags get in your car? You're the, I don't know what's you in were there. the driver of the yeah, car. Yeah, I don't know right? what's in their bags. You don't know what's. So those bags are not yours or theirs? They're theirs. You had no idea? I had no idea I was driving with that in my car. Carrying I don't see bag who's who's. I don't know. I don't, it's nothing. not mine. It right. okay. has nothing to do with me. Nothing so, to do with me. You didn't see so, anything. Okay. You don't know anything. Well, okay. We're going to move to the next car. Okay. All right. All right. Thanks. You're welcome. The substances later tested positive for crystal meth and weighed over 112 pounds. Latasha Weatherspoon, oh, Marlene Richardson, out, and Christina yeah. Enriquez were then all we're looking at. charged no, with a felony. <laughs> I'm fucking dead, bro. Count of dealing meth weighing 10 or more grams. Delta Airline passenger flight records showed that Weatherspoon has transported drugs through the Indiana airport at least seven times in 2023. Christina also confessed that Weatherspoon paid her between $1,000 to $2,000 per trip. That shit ain't worth it. Leading that shit ain't worth it. 7K. And street value off of them drugs is, bro, what? Come on now. By the weight, the pound, whatever. <clears throat> that wasn't even worth it. That's crazy. That's fucking crazy, bro. Y'all niggas throwing y'all lights away. For seven grand, they said she at least did it seven times. She was again in thousand to two thousand dollars. Okay, boom. We could just say two thousand dollars each trip now. Fourteen thousand dollars still ain't worth it, bro. Clearly, cause y'all still doing the shit. If y'all had one trip, you did it one time and you made you some good money. You ain't gotta do this shit no more, bro. And risk getting caught now. Y'all got y'all got too greedy. Y'all was in too in too deep, bro. Y'all got greedy over chump change, really. That's crazy. 
prosecutors to believe Latasha was the leader behind this scheme. Latasha and her crew face up to life in prison if they're convicted. <laughs> oh man, crash house, bro. I ain't got no much more, more to say, bro. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below. Make sure I run the likes up, sub, news, on post notifications, man. All that good stuff. It's the end of that. It's your boy, Evie Walla, and I'm out.